Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today, this has just arrived. You all know what it is, it ain't an engine, it's not a rolling stock, it is actually a new choo-choo controller, yes. I've been wanting an upgrade for a good while, so I... If I can get it out, excuse me. And there we go. I bought this. It's a Rail Power 1370 model train power pack for HO and Engage trains. Power full 18 VA. Um, not exactly sure what it stands for, but I think it still releases uh, 12 volts. And here you go. Here's all the stuff you can. Pause that and read it if you like. Sorry for the glare. And there you go. You can pause it and read it if you want. There's some stuff in the back about it. It's a, it's a list. So, yeah. Alright. I'm putting it on my desk. I got my cap 4 back, by the way. And it's not performing very well. So, I'm going to have to fix it. At least I tried. Let's get it out. There's the controller itself. Is there any wires? Nope, doesn't come with any wires. Okay, chunk it to one side. So here we go. God, this thing's a beast. I wasn't expecting it to be heavy. <laughs> Alright, now let's see if I can get this open. Yep. I'm sitting down, the controller is right here, now I can get it out. There we go. There we go. Hmm. This, feel, this doesn't feel too bad. So what you got here, these are the um, little connectors for the, uh, the track and for accessories, if you have turnouts and stuff and whatnot. And I wanted one with the light because uh, the red light actually does give you feedback where whenever uh, something happens, like say uh, maybe a derailment or an engine that doesn't have a really good of a controller. And yeah, that's why I got it. And it's got an on and off switch too, which I really like. And this direction switch is really awesome too. Nothing there, and nothing there, and, and nothing on the other side, of course, and of course, your very big plug-in, but yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, so what I plan to do is I'm going to uh, use maybe this wire and plug it into the controller. I am going to have to snap this little plug off, so let's do that. Right, I have a long one right here. There we go. Now I'm going to get a piece of wire cutter out of pliers. There we go. That should do it. Some uh, needle nose pliers that have the uh, wire cutter in them. And I'm going to snap that little plug out. I can get in. All right, three, two, one. There we go. That's now uh, cut off. Now I'm gonna have to try and disconnect these two. Let me uh, get some for that real quick. All right, I got a hobby knife. Now be very careful with this stuff because it can cut you if you're not careful. Let's see if I can try and split the wires evenly. And I'm applying very little pressure, so you don't need much. And there we go, that should just about do it. Now let's see if I can split them. Yep, I can. And there you go. So now, I might have to, you probably won't see it very well, but I'm going to have to try and uh, put a little slit in them.
kind of need some wire cutters, so, um, yeah. Hang on one sec. And I'm back. And as you can see, get that focus. We'll try to, anyway. That I have got the wires stripped. There we go. That's in focus now. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to take these wires and put them on a controller. So here we go. Anyways, probably might need an adult to do this if you're a kid, but it shouldn't matter anyway. So here we go. These, these six Phillips head, do they? Yes, they do. Okay. Which way do they turn? There we go. Sorry if you can't see it, by the way. Try to get to where you can. You should be alright. This should be good. Now they both said track DC and accessories AC, so you want to put it to where it says track DC, so that's on the left hand side of this. Okay. Carefully wrap it around. Get some tweezers. Make it easier. There we go. Screw it up in place. And there we go. Now do the other one. Do the same thing. Sorry, I'm trying to get to where you can see it. There we go. I do apologize for my hand blocking the view. Let's see if I can't screw it in left handed because I'm right handed. There you go. <clears throat> now we should test it. In and back. I got the dash nine right there. I'm gonna test it out, and I got the controller right here. I actually had to rearrange a few stuff here and there to get everything to fit. All right. All that's left is to plug this bad boy in to the terminal track. Maybe plan on switching terminal tracks, by the way. Now, there we go. Now let's see which direction the engine goes. All right. So. Going backwards, the direction is set. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think the track's dirty. <clears throat> well, look at that. It's actually quite nice. I can hear a little buzzing from it. The controller, I mean. I know it's, it's not the controller's fault, it might be the engine, it might have to clean the tracks. I'm gonna get another engine. Okay, my Dreyfus Hudson is on the line now. Let's see if it'll perform good enough. Well, look at that. I cannot do that with my Bachmann controller. Wow, that is impressive. That is highly impressive. Look at that. Look. Set it to set 15 now. 20? Oh, it just... Look at that. Set 25 and it's 
barely moving. Look at that. I cannot do that with my Bachman controller. Set up to a higher power. Look at that. That is impressive. That is highly impressive. Alright, let's try it on another engine. Right, this time it's Hornby. I got Mallard on the line, so let's see how well of a call she can do. Let me just get my phone from this charger. One second. Okay, is it 25? Well, look at that. <laughs> I think its wheels are a bit dirty, but hey, that is impressive. Look at that. I dare you to do this with your Bachman controller. I dare you. That is awesome. Wow. New Rail Power 13 controller. 1370, I mean. I love it. I, I, I love it already. I am in love with it. Way better than this. And I got three of these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to have fun with this controller. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.